Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today I'm coming to you guys with a makeup tutorial. If you watched the Bex vlog, you already seen this, but this one is more detailed. So the first thing I do is I prime my face with this Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. And my face is already moisturized. Next I'm going to go in with my foundation, which is also by Makeup Forever. And I'm using a beauty blender to apply that. When you apply your foundation, if you use a beauty blender or any other type of sponge, make sure that you wet it because that will help blend the foundation. And y'all, this beauty blender is so freaking expensive at Sephora. I think I paid like $20 for it, but it's so worth it. I've tried the cheaper versions and they do no justice. Oh, this is the um, Too Faced Lip Injection product. I love it. It really does plump your lips. No matter how big your lips are, you can always add some plumpness. Like seriously, it makes my lips look amazing. Um, also brows. Brows are my favorite. I love doing my brows. I have been using this product um, for over, I mean seriously, I think I've been using this since 2012 or 2013, one of them. But I've only purchased like two of them because they last forever. My brows stay on all day too. Um, also, this is the NYX Corrector Palette that I use to clean up my brows. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys seen a million brow tutorials, so yeah, check it out. This is the only new thing I do with my brows. I actually use a brush to blend out the concealer. I learned this from, who is it? I think her name's Aaliyah J. Yes, Aaliyah J. She does it and it really does like really blend it out and make your brows look even better. So I always use this brush now. All right, so this is my NYX concealer in Fawn and I use this con to conceal and to highlight basically. To me, concealing and highlighting are pretty much the same thing. Um, but yeah, I use that and then I go in with that beauty blender. And like I said, this beauty blender is freaking expensive. However, I've tried all those other cheaper versions, even the Real Techniques one, and they do no justice, like none whatsoever. Um, this one is very soft and so easy to blend into the skin. And it doesn't like take up any product or anything. I just love this thing. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Hopefully you guys are doing your makeup too. That would be so cool. <laughs> Did y'all see Skylar? She's so funny. Um, oh, so now we're ready to contour. And I'm using another LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in Dark Cocoa. And I just do a little bit of contouring. At first it looks a little harsh, but I always blend it out with my Bold Metal Contour Brush from Real Techniques. Another expensive purchase, but totally worth it. And I got this from Ulta. And as you can see, I blended everything out so it can kind of flow better, you know? So it's not too harsh. Um, to set my highlight, I use the Benai Banana Powder. And I like this one. Um, at first I thought it was too light, but once you brush it away, it does give it a more highlighted look, and I like that. I usually let this sit on my face until I'm done, like, everything else. Well, not everything, but I just let it sit for a few moments. Oh, my bro. Okay, Missy Lynn. I love this palette. Like, I have been rocking with this palette since she first um, launched it. And, you know, I don't really see her promoting it. So, I don't know if it's like, I don't know. I don't see her promoting it. And I'm like, I love this thing. Like, I literally wear something out of here every day. I use um, this color for my, like, transition color. And then I just put my own foundation on top of that because I don't really like eyeshadow. I think I look absolutely insane with eyeshadow. I look at old videos and I'm like, what the hell was I thinking trying to be somebody I am not? <laughs> so I always like this like nude color. Um, so I always pull out that Missy Lynn palette. Hey, Taylor. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I love that palette. You definitely need to get it. It's very inexpensive. Um, I think it's like $9 on bhcosmetics.com, so check it out. Oh, so I just wiped off that lip injection stuff, and now I just use my lip pencil by NYX in Nutmeg. This is another everyday lippy that I wear. I literally wear the same makeup every day. Um, this is my favorite lippy. This is Revlon Seduction, and it's a matte lip gloss, but it lasts forever. Look, I got the Missy Lynn palette out again. <laughs> I like her highlighter. So yeah, I use that highlighter. And I even have a Becca Cosmetics highlighter. But I use this over that one. And that's another BH palette um, that I just use for my blush. So we're looking a little bit better. I just need to add some mascara. Because girl, I have to have my lashes. Without my lashes, I just feel so... I hate to say basic, but I just feel so basic. Like, I need some pop. And I usually um, use this mascara, which is the Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. And I like this one because, as you can see, the wand is so, so super skinny. So it's easy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm dancing to. Um, look at these tweets. Oh my god, I found these at Sally's not too long ago, and they are some bomb tweezers. <laughs> um, so yeah, now we're adding lashes. These are my Demi 120s, and another everyday um, lash that I like to wear. Even when I don't have makeup on, I just like wearing lashes. And that is the dark tone. Um, glue. I like using that because it dries dark so um, you don't have any of that white glue showing. That's so annoying. Oh, I'm talking so much. Hopefully you guys don't mind but we're almost done. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Yeah, keep watching. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we will have another vlog up tomorrow but I wanted to get this footage up so hopefully you guys use this as your everyday makeup. All right? I love it. All right, I'm all set. In just a two or three year period. I think I want to take my hair a little bit. Breaking albums that are still and what I use is I just use today. water so that's, and that's like Cream of Nature's that conditioner. Always, that and it loud. works wonders. And are, of course I use this brush. It's kind of messy right now. This is a Kim Campbell detangling brush. Oh my god, there's so much hair. So yeah, this paddle brush, which was super dirty, I use this. Do I feel like it? Devin, are we, are we ready? Yeah, it's time to go, so I'm not going to mess with it today. I'll do that in another vlog, I'll show you how I detangle it. But yes, this is my mommy beat. Nothing too like crazy, but I hope you guys enjoy this transformation to looking just regular to my everyday look. I really love doing this for you guys. And remember, all the links are below. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, girls.